Cyberpunk 2077 pulled from PlayStation. David Ayer says Joker is vastly better in his cut of Suicide Squad. And after the crazy week he's had, Tom Cruise has taken an early vacay. Hello, I'm Chris Killing, and I still haven't seen the Mandalorian finale. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? I'm just letting you know that I know Disney announced some stuff based on what happened during the finale, and I won't be talking about it today because somehow I've managed to dodge spoilers. Now it's no secret Cyberpunk is riddled with bugs, but in the first instance I can recall, Sony has now removed Cyberpunk from the PlayStation Store indefinitely, leaving both PS4 and PS5 players with no option to purchase the game digitally. But dude, what are we gonna play? In addition to this, Sony announced they're offering full refunds for anyone who purchased the game via the PlayStation Store, and it has nothing to do with the absurd nudity. At least we hope. Yeah. For those who have downloaded the game, they can continue to play it or cash in on the refund. In the meantime, the game is no longer available on the PlayStation Store, which means the only option to play the game on PS4 or PS5 is purchasing a retail copy. No, I think I'm good. Good. CD Projekt Red released a statement saying they are still going to be offering updates for the game and are working hard to improve it so that Sony will hopefully put the game back online soon. Dude, I got a very bad feeling about this. Xbox also jumped in and announced that while they aren't pulling it, they are offering full refunds for anyone who's not happy with the game. Just a quick reminder that Spider-Man 3 is going to be swinging into theaters exactly one year from today, or going straight to Disney+, Plus. who knows, but my point is, we got a long way to go, so let's relax on all those Spider-Man 3 rumors, okay? Please, do not tell me to relax! Ever since Zack Snyder's cut for Justice League got greenlit, people have been holding out hope that David Ayer will get to put his version of Suicide Squad out into the universe, and David has fanned those flames again, remarking that the Jared Leto's Joker in his cut of the film is vastly better. Ayer's changed his stance on the film in recent years, originally claiming that the theatrical cut was his version, and now basically says that it isn't, so will we see it? I think so, yeah. I still think Warner Brothers is waiting to see how Justice League performs in March, and if it goes as well as they're expecting, then a David Ayer Suicide Squad cut would probably be a fun thing to announce as we get closer to James Gunn's Suicide Squad quasi-sequel. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. After his rant leaked this week in the press, Tom Cruise has decided to take his holiday break early, reportedly leaving the set of Mission Impossible 7 to fly to Miami for the holidays and let tensions cool down so the production can resume as planned after the new year. He's a man who provides, provides, provides. And that's pretty much it for today. I'm gonna go watch the Mandalorian finale, but you guys have a great weekend. You can find me on Instagram, at CK Comedy, if you promise not to send me any spoilers. Don't forget to wash your hands, and thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news. Okay, bye now. Hello, hello, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn the notifications on because we're bringing you the best geek news Monday through Friday at 11.30 Eastern Time. If you didn't like the video, why are you still watching this? I would have stopped watching forever ago. Go on, get out of here. Go find something you like.